Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, August 13th, 2019. Is it? I hope that got pollinated. That would be really, really nice. Really nice. Helen the honeydew. It would be wonderful to have a honeydew. And cue the cucumber is doing wonderful as well. So it looks like everything stopped since I sprayed. Um, I'm not sure about aphids yet. I haven't been able to tell what's going on with that, but this happened before I sprayed. Pretty sure. Um, I don't know. Should have paid better attention to what it looked like, but the upper ones look really, really good. This guy's going for... He's going for broke. Straight up. Straight up. Alright, um... I gotta get out here and... Yeah, the aphids have really tore this... This up bad. I gotta tie a string to um, the hooks that I have up here in the um, side of the house or the side of the porch in order to tie those tomatoes up because they are just, uh, yeah, they're everywhere. That's not good. And then. Um, the moringa trees are doing well. I gotta bring two more out here. I don't have larger containers to get them transplanted in yet, so I gotta go into town and see if I can get a couple more this size to uh, be able to. I think I need four or five. Four or five more of that size for the moringa. And then I need to start uh, the process with some more seeds that, uh... I had so many seeds that didn't even germinate, so I need to replace those and get more going because we need... We need 11 moringa, um... To start what we want going on back here. We're gonna use the moringa... I know you might say, why so many? Yeah. Um, we're going to use the moringa as um, a wind block for the east and south side of the yard. So all along there, um, even into the front of the yard, the front yard, um, but that won't be right away front yard part won't be right away. I think we're going to start with one moringa over um, where Benny the Bean is, Benny the Bean plant, and then jump over to this area over here on the other side of the fence and just put them every so often, every so many feet, like every six to eight feet I think it is. So um, almost every panel over there, those panels are like nine feet apart, so, um, centered, if you center it, it would be one, two, three, four, you know what I mean, that type of thing, but I think we're going to alternate a little further. And then once they get established and get strong, um, the, the fruit trees will be planted in between them so that they will act as shade for the fruit trees that go in. Um... We have to have some sort of shade assistance um, for all the vegetation that we put in out here. And we knew that we knew that with the trees going in. We just didn't think it was gonna be this bad with the with the garden, but it has been. Uh, Bonnie, I don't know, she looks a little healthier. Coming back even into here. Hmm. Interesting. Hopefully she'll bounce back. We'll see. But. 
Yeah. And then the gourds. Gourds are doing really well as well. I think we started to name them, but I just don't remember. I don't. Oh, let me back up for a minute too. One of the other things about Moringa that you guys should know is that the leaves and the pods, the seeds in the pods are all edible. So, um, it's, it's like got one of the highest contents of vitamin C and I don't know. I probably should shut up and look it up. So I'm not giving you information that's not true, not real, um, because my memory is bad. I really don't remember. But they have really great nutritional properties, so that's one of the reasons why we got it as well. The leaves can be ground into a powder and uh, put all over any kind of food and smoothies, in your oatmeal, I mean anything, you can cook with it put it in anything and just boost your boost your food to um, great nutritional properties and value. Are you ready? Are you ready? Left handed. Oh. Alright y'all. I think I've uh going on enough. Oh, let me show you what I did with the beast as well yesterday. Um, so I was simply trying to um, cut him back as well. Sorry, I got sidetracked. What is that? Hmm. That is. Oh, Lucy, I'm gonna spray you down. All right, and then um, remember I planted these the other day. Something's eating that. It looks more like bird versus uh, bugs, though. Okay, sorry. So I cut the beast back yesterday heavily, 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 heavily. Um, only keeping two sections because this one has new growth and possible babies on it and so did this one over here but um, calling it back that heavy I'm not sure what's gonna happen look we might have we might. we'll see so that's what I did there. Polly the pomegranate tree is doing well. She's starting to look like seasons are changing. So, let's see how she's starting to, either that or it's the heat. It has been really, really hot. And I know yesterday I told you guys that we're supposed to get a cool down. Yeah, I was completely wrong. We're not. We're not getting a cool down. Matter of fact, uh, it's uh. Yeah, it's going to be in the mid 90s, I want to say, probably like 94, 96, somewhere in there for the next uh, week and a half, well, 10 days. Let's just say 10 days. Oh, that's not cool. So, fig just fell off of uh, Celeste. So. Hmm. It's supposed to let them fall to the ground for seven years anyway, so put it back over there. And Connor, I had to call back again, heavy. Um, just need to pick all that up and put it in the compost. And then this guy. This is Sunny. Sunny's not doing very well either. Well, I can't say that. Sunny's getting ready to open up, so I can't say that. His bottom leaves are just 
really uh, hurt here. It's looking really, really hot. Hot, hot, hot. So, and um, Batman. Batman's trying to come back. So once I make sure that this uh, spray that we're using is working really well, I am going to uh, bring out the other plants that we have in the germination room and get them all out here. It's time to get the germination room just completely emptied and um, Time to get the germination room completely emptied of all the plants and cleaned out. Um, I think we got only two cauliflower came up out of all the ones we put in. No broccoli have yet. It's just weird. We're learning. But I need to get uh, need to get what we have out there or in there out here I should say and um, ready to go on the ground for our fall, our fall garden. However, I am thinking that it's a bit too hot yet for some of those plants. I want them to last all throughout the fall, so. Um, once again, as y'all know, I did not get up as early as I should have, so I'm just going to talk to you this morning. It smells like, huh, that's funny, it reminds me of uh, candy or something from childhood, that's weird. Anyways, he's beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture of him too, but I don't know if this will work while I'm doing that. That yeah, doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, so, uh, me talking to you right now is all you're getting for the day. Um, I am gonna take this down, but not on video. And um, get it to the point where it can be folded up, put away. Oh, and the Malabar spinach? Delicious delicious I need to get that tied up too because I want it to start going over towards the fence and hold on to the fence so it is delicious it reminds me in April of something though and we can't figure out what it is when you bite into it it's got this I don't know this taste this flavor that I just can't I can't remember and I can't put my finger on what it is but it reminds us of something Anyways, all right, tarp's coming down today. I promise, I swear. And uh, that's it. That's about all I'm doing out here. Uh, get back inside and cool down because it is hot, hot, hot. And I need to get the dogs more water out here too. I can't even keep up with the amount of water that they drink in the house, so. Make sure they have a big one out here. It's cool. All right, y'all. Take care. And we will talk to you soon. And until next time, stay safe wherever you are in the world. And much love. Get it, Sam. Get it. You gonna get it? Three, four, seven, eight, maybe? Because there's one standing on the. Seven, eight, yeah, at least eight. That we can see because the window, cur the curtain's not open all the way. Can you approach it and see if they They're all gonna fly. Stay inside, Sammy. Stay inside, Alfred Sammy. Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. <laughs> Stay inside, Sammy. Come here. 
As soon as she goes out, they're gone. That's awesome, though. Oh, they're shitting all over the porch. Oh, there's a pig bird. What is that pig bird? In the tree. Where? It was in that ironwood tree. It. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's a. Uh, um, Look at those big blackbirds. Why are the big blackbirds over there? I don't know. They've all been really attracted to the yard lately. It's kind of weird because in the evening, in the evening they literally dive bomb the backyard. So I don't know what's going on. That. That's crazy. Yeah, they're all here. Hopefully they're here to eat the Pest. beetles. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, I better go take care of your eggs.